Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, let's see what we can do about this footer. If we look in Photoshop, we can see that it has a fairly similar style to our header. Okay, so. Let's go down here, create a new section. Let's look at the markup real quick. Footer, we have a div with a class of footer widget area. Okay, so that's what we're focusing on. Okay, so footer widget area. I'll start with background, white. We need a border top, of course, one pixel solid border color. Okay, and then we'll do We'll do the box shadow. So we'll say WebKit box shadow inset zero pixels, five pixels, and zero for blur. We'll do the bevel color, and then we'll do zero, zero, five pixels, border color. Okay, that will create the bevel that you can see here and the shadow. Okay, copy this, create a non prefixed version. Uh, what else? We could do with some margins or paddings. So I'm going to say padding. 3m zero, and also we could do with some margins here on the top. And I just saw there is uh, there is this last sidebar widget which has a bit of margin here, a bit of extra margin. And you know that's normal because we're applying some some margin to it. And actually, it's I think it's irrelevant at this point because I'm just gonna do a margin top of three M's, and it's gonna push down the footer. And you know I I don't think it's important. It's just a personal opinion, but. It's just a detail that um, you know you can overlook. All right, let's move on to uh, to the widgets because we need to style uh, this list. Let's see the widget area footer sidebar widget. Okay, so we have a simple list there. So I'm going to do this sidebar widget. I'm going to duplicate some code here real quick to target these the footer sidebar widget. That's good. Uh, why do we have a oh, for? Okay, so that is the lists and connect with us and a basic text widget. Okay, the very last step is the copyright container. Let's see, div class copyright container.
All right, let's have a look. It has a border top, light background, and of course some padding. So we'll start background, uh, bevel, color, border top, one pixel solid, border color. Okay. And also let's do a padding top of one and a half M's. One and a half M's because uh, we have a paragraph here which also has a one and a half M uh, margin. Okay, and we have a, a link here. which will float to the right. Okay, like that. And let's add the class of clear fix. Okay, and we're gonna change the font size to 12 pixels. And now all we have to do is uh, center it. And there are two ways we can do that. We can either use a container element or we can set some um, some paddings. But I think I'll go with the first one. I'm gonna do div the class of container. Something like that. So let's wrap this in a paragraph so that it's going to borrow uh, the style from for the link. And let's move the class from the link to the paragraph. Okay, perfect. So that actually is the end of it. Um, we finished our page and as one final touch, I'm gonna do two things. One of them is add uh, a bit of a border to the top nav because you know when we hover and the th uh, level three submenu is shown, we don't really have a separation between the two. So let's go to styles. A top where is it top top menu navigation okay and we need to target the UL which is this okay and we're gonna copy this color and we're gonna say border right here border one pixel solid and this is the color okay let's see it all right so now it's uh, it's much better uh, the only problem is the uh, the menu the secondary menu is a bit shifted it's shifted by one pixel because we added the border. So let's quickly find it. And let's see, left 100%, top minus one pixel. And there it is. Okay, um, we do seem to have um, a duplicate border right here oops seems we have an issue with the menus hmm 
so we do have an issue with the menus I haven't spotted this earlier so I think it has something to do with the uh, with this menu let's do a quick test okay level 2 item 3 let's add two more menus Ah, okay there's the problem um, so the secondary the main menu is overlapping with the top menu hmm. let's see if we can solve that with let's see top menu container top menu navigation UL let's set a Z index to a very high value so something like this let's see if that took care of it yes it has okay perfect uh, so we were right here yeah as I was saying we have a duplicate border on the bottom um, and that's caused by well, let me just show you uh, we have a list item yeah which has a border bottom and on top of that we have um, the border from the actual list this one yeah so you know we can either get rid of we can target the last list item or we can target the um, or uh, we can target the uh, the border bottom of the list so I'm gonna do that border bottom zero okay and that took care of it okay nice let's see this one this one looks pretty good no need for change uh, let's add some transitions to the links and that's very easy to do we'll go here and we'll say dot transition let's see and there it is Okay, perfect. And transition is actually a uh, a mix-in, yeah. And we didn't uh, transmit any parameters, and it just uses the default ones. Like it targets all properties. Uh, the duration is 0.2 seconds, and the ease is ease out. All right. Uh, and that's it guys this um, is the last video for the home page or the blog index I hope you guys liked it in the next videos we'll begin with the markup for the single post and then we'll do the markup for comments the comment form and we we'll have we'll have a couple of more videos after that where we'll write the CSS for both of these and we'll make everything responsive, including the top navigation, the main navigation, all the layout. We'll optimize it for different um, window sizes. And finally, we'll do some testing in uh, browsers, specifically in IE8 Plus, to see if we uh, need to adjust anything. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back in the next videos. Bye-bye.